Did you know that parsley is high in calcium, vitamins A, C, and K? Did you know that it helps fight inflammation? It helps fight free radicals in the blood system, which then can help fight cancer. Did you also know that it can make beautiful and delicious pesto, which is what we're gonna make today in my magic green sauce. My name is Sabrina, welcome to my channel where I make delicious, beautiful vegan foods. So I hope this one rings true for you if you like as much sauces as I do. And if it does, please be sure to click subscribe and like so you don't miss any other videos. I'll see you in the kitchen. So let's start with our ingredients. We're going to start with some miso paste, white or dark. We're also gonna add some lemon juice. You can have lemon or lime juice, whatever you have on hand. Some large chunks of garlic. We're using pine nuts in this particular recipe. Some flavor bombs, which are also called capers. And just some plain water. It will depend on how thick or thin you want this. Also, I'm using some olive oil and then salt and pepper to taste. Really depends on you. Okay, and the flavor, bomb of all is our parsley. This is gonna be a parsley pesto. You can use any parsley or hearty green, doesn't really matter, cilantro, whatever. So we're gonna start by stuffing our parsley into a food processor. My food processor's name is Cassie, so I encourage you all to name your appliances. Cassie is no joke, she works it out without a problem, and she's gonna take this to the most wonderful magic sauce. We're gonna add to this pine nuts. You can use walnuts or pecans or any kind of nut you'd like. Uh, and then we're gonna put our garlic right on top of this. I have them chopped in big chunks so you don't have to worry about making them small because Cassie's gonna work that out. We added some lemon juice and then we're gonna put our miso paste right on the top of that, okay? I added about half of the water. Um, you, it really depends on how thick or thin you want this water and then some um, salt just to season it, okay? I'll put all of the descriptive uh, uh, pieces at the bottom of the video. And then we're gonna pulse it. I would say pulse it a few times and then you can begin to process it because it is pretty big, but you see how quickly Cassie breaks this down, okay? Once you open it up, add a little bit of olive oil just to um, thicken it up, add a little bit of flavor, bring all those flavors together, and then you can process it some more. We're gonna open this up a couple of times, um, but but overall it still won't take a long time. Uh, each time you open it up, I would suggest you just scrape down the sides uh, because it will, uh, you know, fly up on the uh, around the edges. But you want to make sure that you process it to the desired texture that you want. You see, there's still some larger pieces in there, and I like my pesto um, pretty well processed. So we're going to let Cassie do her work again. Once we open it, if we don't need to scrape down the sides too much, um, we will then sometimes add a little bit of water. Again, as I mentioned, it really depends on how thick or thin you'd like it. I don't like a really runny pesto, uh, although the longer it sits in your jar in the refrigerator, it'll thicken up a little bit. But the more water and or oil you add, the looser this pesto will be. So let's pulse this up a little bit more, or process it down depending on how thick you want it. And then we're gonna add our flavor bombs, which would be our capers. Now you don't wanna process the capers too much because you still want some big chunks, okay? Um, the capers just add such a dynamic and unique flavor to this pesto, I absolutely love it. So uh, I didn't have those running too long because I wanted to still be able to taste some of that. But look at this, in a few minutes tops, this pesto is finished, or as I call it, the magic sauce. All you need to do is put this in some jars and um, it will keep in your refrigerator for days. In fact, if you have an herb garden in the summertime, you can make batches of this, process them in a bulk canner and um, put them up and that way, that way you have some pesto all winter long. And as you can see, it doesn't take long at all to make this. So, um, you know, what I, my goal is to try to make some on a regular basis this coming summer so that I always have some pesto. I love it on rice or toast or some of anything. Um, I, I, I have eaten it right out of this jar too, but let's see some other ways that we can use this pesto. Pesto on pizza instead of sauce, I think is a great idea. You can use pesto in a butter. Um, just mix it with your butter, make it cold and slice it. 
you can have some sun-dried tomato pesto or just plain tomato pesto. This is a Sicilian one, actually. These are pesto pinwheels, which are pretty easy to make as well. Pesto with pasta. And this is a sun-dried tomato pesto. I've, I've processed that. And this is some hummus pesto. You can't go wrong when it comes to hummus. And finally, in the summertime, a pasta with some pesto and some tomatoes. Just so fresh and delicious. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please click the subscribe button. Click the like button so that you can come back and um, see some more. Stay blessed, everybody.